I changed five settings in my Apple Watch Ultra just after unpacking to boost my Apple Watch battery life and boost my productivity. And I will show you exactly what did I do in the settings. So battery and productivity together. While we're talking about them in parallel, you will understand in just a couple of minutes. Mm, yes, I want my Apple Watch to last longer, but at the same time, I don't want to lose too many features of it. So that means that I don't want to use low power mode of Apple Watch because it is cutting too many good features like always on display, background heart rate measurements. I want to leave them. So what I will do, I will change this five settings so first of all Apple Watch is cluttered with apps uh, there are too many of them and they are distracting you from being productive in your life and they are stealing your time and wasting your battery when you're just scrolling through them do not be lazy and scroll through all apps think about each app and uh, each using case and if you do not need it just delete it but don't worry you are deleting them not forever you can find them down here in the watch app on your phone if you will ever need them now after you deleted all unneeded apps go to background app refresh you can change it in settings a general background app refresh but do not turn it off like for all apps just scroll through list of all your installed apps and again ask yourself do you want certain app to download info in background or not it is quite long list so you have to decide for yourself what you will leave and what you will turn off and keep in mind that this will help your apple watch live longer then you should change the notification setting because first of all, you don't want to be disturbed every minute by different apps, emails and other messengers. Of course, it depends on, uh, for example, I leave Viber for messaging with my closest people, but I turn off messenger because I don't want to be interrupted by unimportant messages. And secondly, of course, it will save your battery. So now you need to go to notification on your phone, not on your watch. And again, scroll through the list of apps and turn off the apps that you do not need. This will save tons of your attention and tons of your time and battery. So the next one is reducing the motion in settings, accessibility, and this one reduce motion, turn it on. But before I recommend to check if you really want to turn it on, just uh, turn it on, play with it, check if you're okay with it and leave it. But if you don't like it, do not turn it on. It is up to you. Just remember that if you want to take advantage of the increase of your battery life, you should turn it on. Oh, so many turn it ons. And another one, bonus tip to save a battery and to get additional half a day is to turn off always on display. And this one is very, very hard for me because I love always on display. I like to look on my wrist and to see the time. But if I want to maximize my battery and to use my watch for three full days, then I turn off always on display. But of course, it is your choice. Apple Watch is a fantastic device, but if you want to see the only three reasons to buy Garmin Phoenix, not Apple Watch, click here and you will know. 